Does this not look so decadent and irresistible? I think the best way to describe her candles is pure decadence. Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and as you saw from that introduction and the title above, today is going to be a Candles by Victoria haul. Now, you might have known I have been doing a lot of Candles by Victoria hauls lately. It's because I love Candles by Victoria, and nothing makes me feel better than getting a Candles by Victoria box in the mail. I am feeling a little better. I don't have my cold that I had to have, but I definitely am not feeling the best emotionally. I don't really want to get into that. Um, another reason why I hate summer, and I've talked about this before, is because I don't feel comfortable with the way I look. Um, just in general appearance, body type, the things that I enjoy are not typically what people enjoy, so I'm pretty shunned from the gay community. Not that I really want to be a part of it. It's a very nasty and very toxic community, but I don't feel comfortable taking my shirt off. I don't feel comfortable sweating and looking gross. So I really don't feel comfortable with summer. I never have. So typically, as soon as it gets warm out, I turn my air condition on, lock myself in my apartment, and don't do anything. I don't want to be seen in the outside world. And that's why I don't really like to do anything in the summer. And, yeah, I mean, I go to work, and that's pretty much it. And it really sucks, but that's life, and everybody feels vulnerable with different things, and I think some people are afraid to share that on camera and share it with the world, but I don't feel comfortable with who I am. I never have. Will I eventually? Maybe. Is that why I haven't found anybody special? Maybe, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. Fragrances make me happy, talking to you guys makes me happy, and I have so many exciting things to share with you. Victoria is such an amazing human being. Her company makes me happy, her fragrances make me happy, her candles make me happy. So if I'm happy, I want to share that happiness and joy with you guys and spread love and positivity, but also know that everybody does struggle with things. So. Definitely keep that in mind, that a lot of people, you know, don't feel the best with summer. You might love summer, love being in your short shorts or your bikini or your Speedo, and there's some of us who wait for hoodies and jean season so they can hide who they are, and that's me. That's one of my, it's one of my insecurities, but... Anyway, let's talk about candles and happy things. Every order from Candles by Victoria includes a free scent shot. And now if you're looking at this piece of wax and you're like, what the heck do I do with this? Well, I'll tell you, it is a wax melt. And what you do is you can either pop the whole thing or split it in half and pop it in your warmers and it's going to scent your house and make it smell amazing. And every order from Candles by Victoria, you get one of these little babies for free. And the scent shot that she chose for my order is baby powder. You trying to tell me something, Victoria? I have a baby and she has four paws and that's the way I want to keep it. And this smells exactly like you think. Very authentic, true baby powder. Not much more to say about that. This will be a good nighttime scent. Really good to help you like fall asleep. So that was my free scent shot. I have some jar candles to talk to you about, some fun candles to talk to you about. It's all fun. Let's start with the nine ounce country jars. These are one of my favorite styles from Victoria. They're nine ounces. They are a square bottom and you can get these in any one of her over 1000 fragrances. I know that's insane. There's so many choices on Candles by Victoria's website, but I'm here to show you what I love so that way you can feel more comfortable narrowing down your list. The first one I picked up is Nut House. I was really excited to check this one out and it smells just like pistachio pudding. So if you're familiar with like that pistachio scent, that really rich, nutty, authentic pistachio, that's what this smells like. And sometimes, depending on your nose, pistachio can come across a little bit like cherry almondy. And you can definitely pick that up in this. So if you don't like those super nutty cherry almond scents, definitely don't suggest this one. But if you love those type of scents, it's for you. It's a winner. 
Next we have warm apple fritters. And I knew from the name instantly I needed to smell this. Oh, and this is so good. It's those rich, you know when you go to a really great donut shop and they have those apple fritters just out of the oven, a little bit warm, glazed, sticky apples, rich cinnamon sugar. That is what this smells like. And if you see me rubbing the top of the candles, that's just warming up the wax just a little bit, just so I can get a true authentic fragrance. Oh yeah, buttery, rich, glazed apples. Oh, it is so good. Next, we have Main Street. And yes, Main Street USA in Disney World. This Victoria captured for one of her customers to get the true scent of Disney. So, caramel popcorn, cotton candy, fried Oreos, lemonade, um, Dole Whip, you name it. Every dessert in Disney World is captured in this fragrance. So if you're a huge Disney fan like myself, you know that this is the true scent when you walk down Main Street USA in Disney World. And she hit it nail on the head. It smells so good, so true to life super rich bakery. Now speaking of rich bakery, banana coconut cream pie. My favorite dessert of all time is coconut cream pie. Well, my favorite dessert of all time is bananas foster, but you can't get that a lot of places. So any pie, and I love banana, so banana cream pie and coconut cream pie mixed together in a candle. Yes, you get that rich banana, the cream cheese, the whipped cream, and that really, really authentic graham cracker crust. Oh, this one smells so good. And after that two weeks of cure time, you light this one up, it is going to fill up your entire place with banana coconut cream pie, which who can go wrong with banana coconut cream pie? Not me. The next one is Blushing Peaches. Now, I'm not 100% on what this is a blend of. I believe it's strawberries and peaches. I could be wrong. Oh, but it's so good. It's like a cotton candy peach. Almost if you have like cotton candy and they have a peach flavored cotton candy, if that makes any sense. Like a super sweet candy-like scent, but mixed with peach. Mm, that is delicious. Next, we have chocolate strawberries. Now, Deb, if you're watching this, I was binge watching your videos yet again. I love Deb's videos. I will link her videos down below. She unfortunately doesn't make YouTube videos anymore, but her reviews are out of this world. And chocolate strawberries was one of her all time favorite candles by Victoria Scents. And I can see why. Now, this definitely smells like fresh picked strawberries right off the bat. So if you love fresh picked strawberries, that rich, juicy strawberry when you slice them right fresh from the store or from the market or from the garden, depending on where you have them, and then dipped in that rich, whoo, saved it, rich, deep chocolate. Oh, it smells to die for. I Love it. And if you're not a fan of chocolate scents, still give this a try because to me, the chocolate in there isn't overpowering. It really enhances the strawberry and I cannot wait to burn that. Speaking of fun and fruity, mango sorbet. So yeah, I am a big bakery person, but I do love my fruity scents too. And this smells like a really, really good frozen mango dessert. Do I say necessarily sorbet? But it does smell like frozen mangoes. Etta, if you're watching this, I love you. She's such a dear friend. She really keeps me going when I'm feeling down on myself and knows that I'm not alone and loves her mango scent. So Etta, if you have not tried this scent, definitely try it. I don't remember you, ha you had so many scent shots in your last video. But if it is, pop that in your warmer, babe. It's so good. Such a rich, true mango scent. Sugared corn pudding. Now this is a favorite among Victoria's customers and I can see why. Now to me I never have had sugared corn pudding. I don't know if that's like a southern thing or what but I've never eaten sugared corn pudding. To me 
this smells like a really true sugar cookie. Like, you know when you get those slice and bake sugar cookies? I say really true and then I talk about the slice and bakes, but those are, those are sugar cookies. It smells like those out of the oven, but you know whenever you have the cookie and it has that brown crust around the edge, so whenever you like take your spatula and try to flip it off, it's a little bit crusty on the edge because you overburn them just a little bit. That's what that smells like. Now don't think burnt as in bad, burnt as in true from the oven sugar cookies to die for. Love, love, love. Sweet Southern Breakfast. Now this is a blend of peanut butter and strawberry jam and something else. I can't remember. But this is a true, maybe pancakes, maybe like a log cabin, which is like a maple syrup pancake. Oh, it smells like the best. If this is what a southern breakfast smells like, Victoria, invite me to Texas so I can try some sweet southern breakfast because this smells almost like strawberry Danish, like that saltiness that I love, love, love from her strawberry Danish scent, that sweet and saltiness mixed with the peanut butter. Oh, out of this world. Love that one as well. Next, a little bit different, we have apples and oaks. So apples and oaks is exactly what you think. Apples and oak, like a woody scent. It's definitely, to me, more of a perfumey apple scent. Almost if, I want to say cologne versus like perfumey. Because I feel like if a man was to buy an apple cologne, which men can buy whatever they want in fragrance, but to wear on their body, but if a man's like body wash was like apple scented, I kind of feel like this is what it would smell like. It has like a little bit of a warmth to it, some woodiness, but mixed with a real like Macintosh apple scent. I know that sounds crazy. That's kind of what I get from it. It's not bad at all. I like it. It's definitely more masculine. Then we have Lovebirds, and if I'm mistaken, this is her Love Spell, which is a Victoria's Secret dupe, mixed with Birds of Paradise, which is like a strawberries and cream scent. So we have like a rich strawberries and cream with that berry perfumey scent of Love Spell. And yeah, this is a very creamy scent, which unless you've had it, you don't understand what I mean. It's like like a real cream, like sweet cream. Like when you go to Starbucks and you get your sweet cream in your in your coffee, that's kind of what it smells like, like a like a rich creamy strawberry. But then that real perfumey like blackberry raspberry perfumey scent from the Love Spell. And every time I see this handmade with love sticker on the top of her candles, it just makes me really warm and fuzzy inside. And then the last candle is Barefoot and Blue Jeans, which is also a create a scent by Deb. Deb is such a sweet lady. Oh, I would love to meet her one day. Barefoot and Blue Jeans is a mix of sexy and stilettos, which I believe is like a love spell blend. Victoria's never stated what it is. Mixed with blue sugar cotton candy, which out of this world, it's blue sugar perfume or with mixed with cotton candy. And this is yummy. You definitely pick up on, it's a super, super sweet candy-like scent. But you get that, like, more masculine blue sugar cologne scent. Oh, that's nice. This one, out of all these candles, this is the one, if you like just, you're not sure what to get for somebody as a gift, I feel like everybody would like Barefoot and Blue Jeans. It's definitely a different scent, but I feel like a lot of people would like it. Now, I did already start to burn this one, and I'm so happy I did. This is Victoria's Black Label Collection. Now, it looks a little bit different than some of her other candles. It is very modern, because if you notice, Candles by Victoria has that country, country twang to it, so to speak. But this is her modern line. You can only order these fragrances in the Black Label line and 
if you want to try it in a scent shot. You can't order them in bigger candles, smaller candles. This is the only way these come out with. These are super complex fragrances, and they're all inspired by cocktails. Now, can you see this on, I'm not sure if it's gonna pick up on the glass. There's so much oil in this, and I did burn it, and this little black is a little wick trimming. I know it's not the best, but this is in Singapore Sling. It does not smell like the, the cocktail, Singapore Sling, but it smells like the best lemon bakery scent you've ever smelled. It doesn't smell like lemon pound cake, doesn't smell like lemon meringue pie, lemon cookies, lemon tart. It smells like a lemon poppy seed muffin. 100%, the reviews are accurate, and I lit this small candle, like small candle in my apartment, my open concept apartment. Went to the bathroom, came back, it filled up the entire open concept space, this little candle. I am so impressed. I don't want to ever burn the rest of this candle, but I know there's more where it comes from, so I can just order more. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. I cannot recommend the Black Label line enough. It's fantastic. You need to try some. Now, I have five bigger candles, three basic candles and two decorative candles. Let's talk about the basic candles first, and I say basic like that because no candles from Candles by Victoria are basic. These are her 22 ounce terrine candles. I love these. Look how giant this candle is. It is a big candle, almost as big as my head. I have a big head. But anyway, they have a gold lid with the Candles by Victoria label. They are double wicked and Okay, so Victoria calls this her little scent door. So the bigger the opening, the bigger the throw of fragrance. The bigger the scent door, the more scent. And this has a big old scent door. And then the scent I got it in is vanilla cream raspberries. And I wanted this mainly because of the color, but... Oh, it's nice. It is just, and I don't want to say it's a basic scent, because none of her scents, again, are basic. But it does. It smells just like a really creamy raspberry with vanilla like nothing more nothing less a really creamy raspberry scent and back in the day i did own these terrains and i loved them the throw on them is insane now just to touch a little bit because i'm super pick on, picky on it these wicks need a little bit of a trimming she does trim these candles before they leave her um her office before they leave the um the shop, but they do sink over time, so I would probably trim this in half again before I lit it for the first time, and then let it burn for about three to four hours before blowing it out. And let me tell you, perfect. I'm also on the hunt for the perfect jar. I definitely need to find the perfect jar. Now this next candle is a three wick heart dish candle. So this is like a candy dish. Super, super cute. And I got this in one of my favorite scents from Victoria, Fluffernutter, which is a blend of peanut butter cookies and marshmallow campfire. Again, with that peanut butter scent. <sighs> Rich, creamy peanut butter. And then you get that really nutty or um, like smoky marshmallow scent out of this world. Love that scent. And with this three wick, it'll burn all the way across, get you a nice wax pull there, and a huge, I mean, this whole thing, it's gonna be fragrance, like huge. The next candle I got is her 24 ounce square candle. Now this has an exclusive label, if you can see that there. This candle only comes with this label. You do have her handmade with love sticker. And this is double wick. Now, I want to find the perfect jar that has a lid. I love a lid. It keeps the candles secure, keeps some dust from coming in on them, and also easy to stack. I feel like this is a perfect jar to stack. I want to burn it, see how it does burn because it isn't a square. Sometimes square candles give me a little bit of issue pulling out all the way, but I know Victoria knows what she's doing. And I got this scent in Pumpkin Pickin'. I love pumpkin scents. Pumpkin scents never do you wrong. Rich, creamy, creamy pumpkin. That's all I can say about it. It's like pumpkin and a cinnamon, nutmeg, like a true, rich, like, 
almost like Bath & Butterworks pumpkin patch candle from years ago. Really rich, true, authentic pumpkin. Delicious. Now, speaking of pumpkin, should we talk about some bakery fun candles? I think so. All right. These are Victoria's Bake Shop candles. Now, I talked about before, I love her fun bakery candles. They're so much fun and super cute to decorate with. Now, this is in her pumpkin cupcake scent. It's also called pumpkin cupcake. So this whole entire thing is scented in her pumpkin cupcake, which is just that, like a, a rich pumpkin cupcake, icing and all. And it's an entire candle, all white, but then she takes some whipped wax on the top, and then she adds a little bit of cupcake embeds, some little pumpkins, and some chocolate bars. There's two wicks, and this candle is so cute. Now, because you can do a couple things with these candles I want to talk about. One, we're going to take all these little embeds out, because yes, they are scented, and pop them in your warmers, and then go ahead and trim these wicks, light this candle, still light it on a heat-safe plate, because there will be some wax that drips over the sides naturally, especially on the next one. Definitely burn on a heat-safe plate. But it's super important, so that way you keep your candle safe. Once you burn that once, it'll be perfect the entire time. Now... Look at this mumbo jumbo candle. I'm so excited to talk about this with you guys. This is her donut shop scent, or her donut shop candle, which is in her cinnamon donuts, which I've talked about before. <sighs> Rich cinnamon sugar donuts. Like those powdered donuts you get in a bag, or I go to a festival every year in Ohio. I've talked about it before, Shaker Woods. And Shaker Woods is a... Um, festival for fall and they always make cinnamon sugar donuts homemade and put them in like a brown paper bag that's what this smells like so we have the white wax whipped cinnamon donuts and then we have one two three four donuts and then she sprinkles the whole thing with sprinkles now this is definitely gonna overflow but again you have a couple options one you can wiggle out the little donuts see and you can pop these donuts right in your warmer. Each I would probably put one donut in each war in your warmer. Or, now watch carefully. If you don't want to worry about a heat safe plate, you just want to take this off. This literally, this whole thing, if you spin it, it's all, I'm not doing it because I like to burn them that way. It's all going to come off. You see that? And then you can just take the entire thing off. I don't because I like to burn my candles. Once you take it off, you can either store that in like a polypropylene bag and cut it up into pieces or scoop it and put it in your warmers, then trim the wicks and light the candle. So there's a couple options for you. That's a little CBV hack that I like to show you guys, but lots of fun options, lots of fun candles. We're finally getting into the fall season as it's like 88 degrees here in Pittsburgh, but I'm ready for fall. So. That was my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so excited for all these goodies. I'm going to put them away in a nice safe space while I burn my other candles. Right now I'm burning pumpkin pecan waffles and it smells so good in here, you guys. But thank you so much for supporting me, supporting my channel, staying up to date with all my crazy shopping adventures and sharing all my goodies with you guys and letting me be open and vulnerable to you guys. It, it definitely means the world to me to have been on here for like 12 or 13 years. I've been doing this a really long time. I do take breaks every once in a while, but everybody needs to. And I don't plan on going anywhere anytime soon. I love this, I love this channel. And working on myself has definitely been an adventure. Lots of change as always, and COVID never makes anything better. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Shout out again to Victoria to Deb, and to my special friend Tara. If you're watching this video, you know who you are. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.